There's our <laughs> special guest. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm waiting He's for the other one. He's late, Aaron. <laughs> no, nah, you know. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, it, it was, it was um, making sure he had uh, a mode of transportation. You know what, Brian? You know, you know what, Brian? Yeah. It, it, my rule is I never show up first for the party and I never am the last one at the party. <laughs> That's good. And you're ne- you should always be the uh, same thing when you're leaving. You don't want to yeah. be the last to leave either. Yeah. Never the first, yeah. never the last. Uh, if you're the last. <laughs> like you're doing out there. Good. Oh, we're doing good. If you're the last good. at the party, by the way, uh, you're one of those people. That's what I was thinking. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you don't want to be one of those people. What's no, up, Brian? No. I'm doing good. How about you guys? All right. How's the beard? How long? How long's the beard now? Show us the beard. Uh, let's see. Oh, did you trim it up? I thought it yeah, was longer than that. Trimming it. It doesn't get much longer than this now. Oh, you didn't go ZZ Top style or nothing, huh? Uh, I don't know. I guess I could. I don't know. Hey, maybe, have you ever maybe played that, Santa? Wait, 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 okay, wait. Go ahead, Dave. Go ahead, Dave. Maybe first. that's how you should go about this. You and another member of the band, you just get the beards long, right? Get yourself some fuzzy yeah. guitars. You can yeah. still be dead sin and everything. We could. <laughs> and we're from Texas. Yeah. Uh, from, are believe you, me, uh, I've tried to talk to Cameron because uh, he's kind of grown a beard. You know, he sh- hadn't shaved in a couple weeks. And I was like, dude, you look really good like that. Just let that thing grow. But he he likes to shave and he's got that baby face. So uh, uh, Yeah, see, I don't know about you. But I used to have a beard like mm, down to here, you know. Yeah. And um, it's partly because you know this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I, I work in a place that I don't think they'd be too happy about that beard now. So oh. I don't grow that beard. I just got this. But uh, a quick story: back in the day when I did have that beard, I didn't like my boss, and I grew the beard to antagonize him. And I was just waiting for him to say something. Because we had a lot of Muslim people working there. Yeah, yeah. And I was just waiting for him to say something to me and he couldn't because he would have had to go around and Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tell everybody. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you ever played S- Santa? Did you ever there. play Santa with the beard? At all? No. Okay. But it's funny that you said this. So I was at a sandwich shop a few months ago. And I uh, saw this guy, and actually, I almost bumped into this older man. I was all, oh, I'm so sorry, you know. And I said, Hey, you got a great beard. And he was something like me. And he goes, Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, and he goes, You do too. And I go, Thanks. He goes, You know, I do a lot of Santa Claus stuff. And I was like, Really? I said, So how does all that work? He told me a little bit about it, but basically, he'll go and he'll get uh, jobs at like uh, old folks' homes, sometimes at the mall. And he says he makes about in those like two months, he makes about twelve to twenty thousand dollars. Oh, you're kidding! Wow, I am not kidding. Now, That's what he wow. told me. I'm going to tell you something. We had uh, Aaron, Aaron and I had this conversation on one of the shows a couple weeks ago. So, uh, hey, can we? Can David? Can you mute yourself for right now? Right, David. David, mute yourself. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, okay. I'm gonna mute him. Okay. I'm. There you go. So. uh Anyhow, uh, uh, we were having this conversation a couple of weeks ago and, uh, I was, I had thought about it a few times that, you know, I, I get a nice and a fat and I, I could play the Santa character. I could pull that yeah. off. Yeah. And then I, and then whenever I think of that, I go, but I don't really like kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. So Imagine I'd be having a- one of them sit on your lap and wet themselves or yeah, something, yeah, and I, like, you know, and are see, screaming be, at you. I'd be like bad Santa. I'd be like Billy Bob Thornton, <laughs> bad Santa. Like I was like, here, yeah. just get this kid off. Not the drunk part, but just get this yeah. kid away from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I, uh, I did. My, my wife came to me like October and said, hey, the uh, the preschool teacher at the school, because my wife works at the school, would like you to play Santa. And so I usually grow out every year. And actually, I go, well, if you get me a Santa outfit, I'll do it. And so luckily for me, her best friend had a Santa outfit. I don't know how, but she did. And so mm. I, I, you know, I had a blast nice. doing it. It was nice. great. The kids, I think the teachers had more fun with it. And so yeah. it, it, even at work, I, I, you know, I, I work at UPS. I did it one afternoon there. And so uh, had some uh, young lady come in and she was like, well, can I get take a picture with you? 
And it's up. Sure. Sure. Ma'am. You can <laughs> definitely do that. It was a lot of fun. Um, uh, and so I'm thinking about, you know, in retirement, uh, maybe doing that, you know, growing the beard and all that. So I, I don't want to wear the wig though, that the hair wig, I'd yeah, rather just yeah. be my own, but, uh, I can, I can grow it pretty good. Not as good as you, you know, it would take me a good year to uh, grow something like that. Now my, yeah. my boys, you know, they, they can grow a beard in like three days, you know, and get yeah. it out. I hear you. <laughs> and so, and so, um, that, well, David, just, I've been, I yeah. even texted David and asked him to unmute himself. Cause I yeah. wanted to bring him in on the beard conversation yeah, and he I, just bailed. I think he's, um, like this. So I will, he's, uh, um, like this. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all pay attention not. to uh, y'all football fans. I just saw this breaking news. What's that? Uh, Justin Fields got traded to the Steelers. Wow. The, uh, I don't Chicago know what that Bears, means. Uh, the Chicago Bears quarterback, Justin Fields, got traded to the Steelers. Yeah. Uh, and, and the Steelers signed Russell Wilson. So I, I guess. Know. And then That's they traded I'm... their starter from last year, Kenny Pickett, yeah. to the Eagles. Right. And exactly. so quarterback yeah, carries just... out. See, the Bears have the number one overall pick, and they're probably going to take uh, Caleb Williams. quarterback there. So they got rid of the guy that was their quarterback. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. And so um, why are we waiting for David to come out? How, how's Deadson doing? We're doing pretty good, man. Uh, we are uh, – looks like we may have our first show this year in May down in San Antonio. That's and, awesome. And uh, we're still writing. We've got uh, – we're in the pre I guess you could call it pre-production stages of a song that we're working on. It's uh, one of our heaviest songs, and uh, I'm excited about that one. And uh, other than that, it's been kind of chill. You know, we've had a couple guys. I mean, one of our members is going through stuff family-wise. Mm. And uh, But other than that, everything's, you know, it's been kind of good to kind of sit back for a second and collect my, collect for me personally, kind of collect my breath. Uh but I, I've been kind of itching now and uh, looking forward to getting back into the uh, studio. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And on stage, too, I'm sure you enjoy the live yeah. audience feel, too. Of course, yeah. I mean, I, going forward, I don't know how many shows, you know, we're, we've never been that band that's going to play like, you know, 20 shows a year or something. We're not going to be that. But uh, yeah, yeah, I miss it. Yep. But All right. I, well, I, now I, we're... Hang on, hang on. I got okay, a, go I got a question. I okay. thought of this this morning, and I I was waiting to talk to you to ask you about it. And forgive me if it sounds like I am uh, 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 being a jerk or anything. I, it's not the that's not the case. I asked this question out of my ignorance. Uh, trust number one on your on your uh, Spotify vapor number two. Down there, number five in the light, the Charlie Peacock cover. Which I was listening to all of this this morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, like okay. yeah. And uh, by the way, uh, in the light's a solid song, no matter what. I really like what you guys did with it, though. Thanks, really like man. what you guys did with it. Um, now, here's my question: out of ignorance, are you guys gonna? You got enough songs now? You're gonna put together put all these songs together in an album. Be and the reason I asked that is because when I was listening to all this stuff and it's on singles on Sp Spotify, I didn't realize the song was over and started over again. <laughs> and I ended up listening to like in the light four or five times. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, um, so, do you have any plans to do something like that? We we've, we've been talking about this next round of songs uh, maybe doing anywhere between three and five for, and put it out as an EP. So, yeah, uh, I, I'm with you. I, I don't know if you, I, well, I say I'm with you. Uh, I like the idea of listening through, uh, like an EP or an album, right? Yeah. Because to me, you kind of get the whole, uh, vibe and feel of the band instead of just one, uh, single. Right. Uh, when you focus on the single method, you're basically writing that three and a half minute song that you're kind of promoting to be um, like a radio type hit, you know? So some of those like longer songs or some of those that aren't as radio friendly, you know, you don't write those or you don't put them out because they're, Hey, you know, it's not going to get played. But when you, when you put songs out on an album, you can number them 
And yeah. also you can kind of take your listener on an, uh, a, a roller coaster ride or whatever you're trying to shoot for or very, you know, from emotional ups and downs, uh, love, hate, whatever you're talking about. So uh, I've always been a fan of that, you know, of the album, but I, we're probably going to do a single and then do like uh, an EP with some of those on it. All right. Yeah, because I, I understand why bands do the singles. You know, it's uh, uh, it's expensive to record a song. Yeah. Yeah, that too. I, I get but that. You, but it's really the same amount to put it out and publish it. You yeah, know? but I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, not, still the I, same. I'm making a joke and I don't don't take this the wrong way or anything, but it's like the wet layaway plan. It's like the 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 buy now, pay later. Uh, you know, if you can break it up into, OK, I can afford to do it now. I'll do this one. And then now I can afford to do this one. And dude, True. that's the way this show works. You know, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I've already got my sights on, you know, 10 other things that I'm going to do for the show, but I got to finish paying for that first thing. You know? Yeah, I understand that too. Totally. So, all right, Brian, let's get back to uh dead sin. I, you know, you, you said you got a couple of harder songs coming. Mm -hmm. The last, the last two to me have been some of your lighter stuff. I'm not saying it was slow. I'm not saying it belongs on uh, the fish or uh, or K Love. Um, yeah, <laughs> de definitely. Um, they had a lighter tone to them, but very good songs. Thank you. You know, um, the last. Um, My bad. How 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 will I know? How will they know? Um, uh, I lost my train of thought now. <laughs> Aaron's prepared. Yes. <laughs> we we're talking about so much stuff. I mean, I got a, an excuse. I, I have a total mental block when it comes to names. So people's names, <laughs> song titles, album titles. Yeah. Okay. yeah I, I, the total mental block. And I don't know what it is. Yeah. All right. Here yeah. we let's go. Three, what your, what's your excuse? Three, Aaron? Two. What are you talking one. about? Three, two, one. We're recording, bro. We're recording. <laughs> You're not editing this out. He was going to edit it out to oh, make yes. himself look better. Well, wow. <laughs> I, I do that. I do that for Dave sometimes too. Uh, um, man, I'm just old. Don't you know? Yeah. Okay. Tell us a little about that one. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, a song I've been wanting to write for a long time, even back in some secular, a secular band I was in something to, you know, uh, talk about my sons or even, you know, you could take it as uh, your, your spouse or your parents or something. And I wanted to write something kind of sentimental like that. And um, so it'd been in the works for quite a few years, actually. And uh, so finally got around to actually doing it. And uh, the, uh, I, the the secret, I mean, the the trick, uh, not the trick. The hardest part of of writing a song like this, if you're a rock band, is not to make it cheesy, but still kind of hit it, still have the the drive a little bit, you know, something in there, and and not go to like you guys said, K Love, cheesy jazz land, or just you know, tear so uh, you know sending you off in tears. But hey, you yeah, know what? It's it, kind of like it's kind of like in the light. We were just talking about in the light. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't believe the original is cheesy by any means, but it's definitely a Caleb song for sure. Right, right. And you yeah. guys did a great yeah. job of it. And um, I don't listen to Caleb because I grew up around all the Christian state. They never played any Christian rock, and uh, yeah. it, it just, it, you know, it's like it didn't, I'm not into any of this music. Um, so, uh, like I said, it's not. The original isn't cheesy, but yours is not K Love friendly either. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we kind of punk it up at points, and then Cam has a killer guitar solo in there. Uh, but um, yeah, and then, you know, we I've heard you know, thank you for the compliment by the way again because I've had a couple people tell me even at work they were like, "Oh, I like that. It's we liked it. I like it better than the DC Talk version," you know, and and I was like, "Well, cool. Thanks," you know. Uh, but uh, well, don't you know, like I said, it was kind of a pop song. It's kind of almost got an 80s feel to some extent. Uh, the, the Cam Solo in that song reminds me of Neil Schoen from Journey so much. Um, 
And once again, like I said, it's about my two sons uh, and just some of the stuff, personal message to them. And I think the coolest thing about the whole song was we made a video for it. And uh, we, we we made a post on Facebook and stuff that said, hey, um, send us your pictures of someone you love or care about, your family, whatever it may be. And so we wound up getting like 140. 30 pictures of people sending this stuff. So what we did was we took the song and we had it made a lyric video with the, the images and these pictures popping up in different parts. So everybody who sent us one got something put in it. And uh, it was cool because it was everything from someone's cats to uh, their unsaved son to uh, someone's dad who just died. It was really emotional. And in in me watching it after it was made, I knew, you know, some of these pictures and what they meant to those people. So that was, I think, kind of the coolest thing we did when it came to uh, the video. And we had a, a nice response to that. Good. Um, I, I just tell you, I, I um, like the song a lot. And then the um, trust, too. Oh, um, yeah. A little bit slower, you know. That. I it, think you yeah, would. It's, it's a different type. It's it's well. It, the tempo is fast, but when okay. we end it, we slow it down real mellow at the end. And uh, it's funny. We <laughs> Matt Baird from Spoken was going to do guest vocals on that song, and uh, but he had a great point. He was like, "Hey, you know, you want me to sing on a song, but." The vocals don't even come in till almost a minute into the song. So he was like, why don't you hit me back up with something when it's more radio type friendly, like I mentioned earlier. And uh, But what he did was he kind of sang the chorus and helped us get an idea how to sing it. So he should, I should have put down writing credits to him because we kind of took what he, uh, what he kind of, the melody, and we kind of took that and rolled with it. We don't do it just like he did because he's Matt and I'm not, but uh you know, it was like, wow, that was cool. How did he do that? Well, I never even thought about that, you know? So, but yeah. Uh, and that song's just like I said, that's another, you know, kind of what dead sin talks about, you know, what we stand for is, you know, uh, you know, I'm going to trust in Jesus. I'm going to trust in the Lord, no matter what happens. And even if tomorrow doesn't come, I'm okay. You know, I got to put, you know, the, like it says in Job, though you slay me, I will trust you. Right. So it's, that's how we kind of approach that song. Can you, can you guys hear that? Yeah. I, I don't know if Brian can, can but no, I don't hear it. What is yeah, it? he doesn't hear it. I, no, I'm playing trust behind. Oh, okay. So, behind. Uh, nice. hopefully, hopefully it comes through on the recording. I'm having a problem with this uh, lately and it hasn't been, it hasn't been favorable for me. What was that? That is uh, uh, Jermaine. Oh. Jermaine. Oh, that's Jermaine. Oh. Um, well, I, uh, I dig what you're doing. I, I, I like I said, I was listening to everything this morning. I was like, oh, that's really good. And then and I'm really bad with the name, so I don't remember what song, but there was one song that started. I was like, I could totally see a circle pit at a show for that song. Uh, uh, give me a second. Yeah. Give me a now, second. Now, uh, Brian, you, you said you guys are playing a show in May. We're at yeah. Down in San Antonio. Uh the the venue's been is being moved. I don't know exactly where it's gonna be yet. But we're playing with guys like I think you've had Reborn on, <laughs> um, Gratitude Texas, and uh, a new band called Epigon. And, okay. Uh, there's quite a few. It's basically a, a bunch of Texas bands all getting together. Right. So we're, right. we're, we're kind of part of that. Uh huh. Yeah. Vapor. Right. Yeah, Vap Vapor is the song. Yeah. It's, oh, that yeah, is a Vapor. total circle fit song. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my favorite song, man. That's my favorite song. Do you uh do you get circle pits going at your shows? The la well, we played Chains Unchained, and uh we actually had a, a little bit of a pit going, and uh our our new guitar player got to uh body surf. Oh nice. <laughs> he yeah. literally was playing guitar on his back. That's and awesome. Just going, what the heck's going on here? That was cool. So hopefully you <laughs> got pictures of that. Yeah, 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 we I think it's on video too. Awesome. Um, <laughs> are you looking to play more? I know you've gone through a um kind of band shuffle a little bit. Oh, you know? of course. Yeah, you know, I think we've kind of we were talking about this last week that you know our perfect plan would be to play four to six shows a year and then like two to three festivals, hopefully getting on some of those. And uh that would be our ultimate like 
perfect schedule. You know, play a couple of local shows within Texas or Oklahoma, and then play a couple of festivals if we have to drive a few states and so forth. Uh, that would be perfect for us. And yeah, we're 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 like uh, our our good buddy Joshua Gonzalez is going to play drums for us at the San Antonio show. He's the drummer in Stonewall Static. Okay, uh, I was going to say I recognize that name. I just yeah, couldn't figure yeah, out what band. He played last year, our last two shows, he's played with us at Chains and then at a show in Arlington, Texas. And he killed it, man. He is he is a showman, and it's fun to watch him play. I mean, like, he is the guy that was born in the wrong era. And since you guys are older like me, like, he should have been drumming for Poison, you know, doing all the, the spins and the faces and standing up and hitting stuff. I mean, that's nice. how he plays. It's really cool. Yeah, that's fun to watch. Yeah, I, um, he probably gets that from Caleb. Caleb's is uh, oh yeah, really out there too, entertaining. Oh yeah, both of them. Hey, Jermaine, you hear that? He wants to play a couple of festivals. Can you hook up uh, Brian um, for some festivals? Oh yeah, most definitely. What's yes. up, Jermaine? I haven't I haven't met you before. Yeah, man, oh, yeah. I'm excited. I'm uh uh I'm with Tricord. So yeah, dude, I I've been excited to get ready to uh, meet you in person. So nice, uh, I enjoy music, man. I like the newest single. I I, I just want to say straight up, I, I like you guys because y'all bring it. The you bring the message, and you're not you're not hiding it. You can you know what you're talking about if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, um, uh, Tricord is playing some festivals this summer, which is yes. which is just great. Which is just great. Um, as you say, Brian, uh, they, they bring the message to the kids, yeah. you know, they don't, they don't, uh, sugarcoat it, you know, um, Hey, this is the real deal. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, and I know you guys do the same thing with yours. And so, so J Jermaine hook up, Brian, he wants to play a couple shows, you know, well, you know. Yeah, yeah, man. We can try right. to talk and do a show. Like, I'll get you if we can get a show in Fort Worth. Uh, you get us out to wherever you guys are from or something. We can figure something out. He's in Georgia. Georgia. Uh, okay. Georgia. Uh, he's um nice. About what a uh, uh an hour east of Savannah. Yeah. Yeah. So they're about an hour east of Savannah to kind of give everybody a a clue of where they are, and so. Nice. Uh, and so um, they uh, they play a lot of shows with Crimson Overtone, and so mm. uh, it's good. So we're uh, uh, we're going to be sending uh, uh, Jermaine to a Trump rally this year. <laughs> it's going to be all kinds of going to be all kinds of fun. <laughs> you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wait for the video on that one. Oh yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to be. I'm going to be working on my Trump impersonation and everything. <laughs> oh, nice. All right. <laughs> it's going to be cool. fantastic. Yeah. yeah it's, you know, it's going to be the best is, Trump impersonation China, ever. <laughs> Give me China. Say China. <laughs> oh, it's come on. Yeah. Yeah, this, <laughs> it's China. 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 I can't even do it. <laughs> you got to put the emphasis, yeah. emphasis on the, on the ch and the. Mm. Yeah. China. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, I I love a good Trump impression. Yeah. Cuz okay. it, it re they really are funny. A good one is really funny. So, <laughs> hey Brian, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thank oh, you. Yeah. Dead, Dead, you know. Dead Sin's the band. Go find them on uh, all the socials. You're, they're there. And they have a website too. deadsin.com is Deadsin Band. Yes, deadsinband.com. Yeah. Dot com. And um, of course on Spotify under yeah. Deadsin. One, oh, yeah, yeah. one word. One yeah. word. Deadsin. Yeah. And, and, and we'll get them in a, a couple months. We'll have something new out. That that would be yeah. great. Yes. And so, I think, yeah. so heavy, heavier though, right? Yeah, it's gonna be way heavier, probably as heavy as like vapor. And okay. uh, the message is gonna be pretty uh in your face. And hey, so uh, Hoping it stirs some trouble up, Brian. Uh, to avoid a, a long conversation because we've gone on too long right now, but I oh, okay. I have a uh, I have a topic for a whole discussion. But I I want your I just thought of this. I I want your input. I want to know what you think as the guy that's leading up a band that's kind of heavy 
you know, vapor being the demotion song. All right. That sort of thing. Um, why is this is just the question? Why is it cool for a band like Ghost to sing about their love of the occult and Satan, but it's not cool for a Christian band with a similar sound to sing about their love of God? It's a good question, man. Um, I guess because. If you look at the secular music world, it's dominated by, you know, pagans and idolaters and, you know, non-believers. So they're going to they're going to uh, accept anything that's out there like that and uh, and promote it. I mean, Ghost is so cheesy. I heard someone describe them as a really bad Scooby-Doo cover band. <laughs> and I was like, wow, that was great. Uh, yeah, that was great. You know, well, but here's my my personal my personal opinion well, on Ghost. It's mm -hmm. a it, it's a gimmick. Yeah, yeah. It's a oh, gimmick. Yeah. When uh, uh, Marilyn Manson was at his height, he did an interview with Rolling Stone, and they asked him about all the occult things and stuff. You know, all that crazy stuff that mm -hmm. he was doing, and uh, he went, "Well, I'm gonna do this till it doesn't make me money anymore, and when this wears out, I'm I'm gonna come up with something new." Mm -hmm. So he yeah. was he. It was never his lifestyle or anything he believed in. It was yeah. just making him money at the time. And that's why uh, Motley Crue did what they did because it, it yep. got him noticed Sire. and made him money. Those guys are not Satan worshipers by any means. But, yeah. uh, you know, they knew what would, would get your attention. Mm -hmm. It's like Alice Cooper. Yeah. It's a character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's a character. Yeah. So, so anyways, thank you. Yeah. Thank hey, you, Brian. You're Please, welcome. everybody, check them out. Check out their website. And, uh, you know, those around San Antonio, May 16th, right? Uh, it's May um, 18th. I'm sorry. May, May 18th. 18th. Yes. Go out and support uh, Dead Sin on May 18th um, yes. at the uh, where's location? At the place. At the location. At the place, well, they're or... moving it. They're moving it. Oh, they're they are. are. Yeah, they're moving be, it. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get an update as soon as I hear it. All right. Follow they, Dead they, Sin they, on their website to know where they're playing. They brought in a big band, Dead Sin, so they have to move it to a bigger right. place. So, well, that's All good right. news. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. All right, guys. God bless y'all. God and, bless you. And I'm going to say happy trails right here. Yep. Happy trails, right. everybody. All right.